It's time for the interview. It's time for breakthrough. If you're ready for next level blessings, abundance, and prosperity, then it's time to tune in to the interview with your girl, Trish M. Calling all my fabulous ladies. Hey, girl. Hey, it's your girl, Trish M. And listen, if you love to follow me for the fashion, then you know I own a boutique, Trish M. Boutique. And just for rocking with me, if you're ready to take your look to a whole new level, then shop with your girl. Rock with your girl at shoptrishm.com. And just for listening to the podcast, you get 20% off by simply using podcasts at checkout. Shop with your girl today at www.shoptrishm.com. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, fabulous people. How you doing today? It's your girl, Trish M, y'all. And it is time. Yes, yes, yes. It is time for the interview with your girl, Trish M. I pray that everyone is having a super fabulous and amazing day. Okay, listen, no matter when you listen to this broadcast, no matter when you watch it, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Sound, whatever. Listen, I want you to really take heed to the words that have come out of my mouth, okay? Because you know, on the interview, we look in so that we could be better out in the world that we're living in. So do me a favor, go ahead and share this, uh, tag a friend, text a friend, call a friend and say, listen, you need to check Trish M out because she's giving us some good, good in the hood, hood. Come on, somebody. Listen, we have been on an amazing journey so far. And before I get started, let's go over the church announcements, shall we? Well, let's see. Y'all know that I do my Women's Empowerment I Am Fabulous conference every year, right? And so it's early bird registration going on, but that is about to end soon, uh, January 31st to be exact. So if you listen to this before January 31st, then make sure you go and register. We are um, on Eventbrite, I am fab2022.eventbrite.com. Right now, tickets are 50% off. They're only $20 for registration, okay? $20 for registration for the entire day, day and night session. $20, you can't beat that with a bat. So make sure you register and bring a friend, okay? Bring your friend, girl, okay? Now, listen, <sighs> I'm here. Oh, I didn't give you my formal introduction. For those of you that are watching me for the first time, you don't really know who this woman is. I am Trish M., your faith and fashion specialist. I'm a pastor, prophet, teacher, evangelist. I have an apostolic mantle. I'm a minister. I'm a leader. I'm a, an author, a CEO, so many titles. But today, I'm your podcast host for the interview, okay? And listen, I am a fashionista to the fullest. I love fashion and I love empowering women to look good and to feel good. If you are not following my boutique, Trisham Boutique, girl, you better run, okay? Go to shoptrisham.com. Matter of fact, just for listening to the podcast, you get 20% off by simply using code podcast. Um, or you can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that, right? Uh, YouTube, we're even on YouTube. We're on We're on uh, the little video channel. I always forget, TikTok for, at Trisham Now, okay? So check us out. Now, that's enough for the little church announcements because we really got to talk today. Have y'all been enjoying my Let Go series? Okay, where I have been talking to you this year about the let go. The let go is real, right? There are things that we have to let go of and so that we can be better uh, in this 2022 year. We don't want to relive a 2021 year. We want to live our best year 
in 2022. So what we do, boo-boo? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> I did the Lego parts, one, two, and three, where I covered Joseph. Uh, and we talked about Joseph having to let go of those three robes. Well, today I want to talk to you. Uh, I have been preaching a sermon for the last two weeks at my church. Uh, shout out to Mind of Christ International with my fabulous husband, Senior Pastor Derek Morin said, yes, Carol. Yeah, he he's everything. <laughs> okay, focus, Trisha. Now listen, ladies, I have been preaching for the last two weeks on the systematic kingdom. Now, I want you to check that out on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Prophetess Trish Morissette. Again, that's Prophetess Trish Morissette. Subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're at it. But anyway, you could catch the two full sermons there. I'm not going to preach to you guys on the podcast. What I am going to do is I'm going to break down some things from my sermon that I really, really want you to get. And I again, my sermon was called The Systematic Kingdom, parts one and parts two. I, and with a hashtag of it will work if you work it. Everybody knows what a system is, right? A system is order, it's things that you put in place to make something work. It's the way you do things, it's the order that you do things, it's the function of how you do when you do what you do. Systems make all the dots connect together so that everything can flow in excellence, right? And I love systems for my business. I love systems for my personal life. I love systems for my ministry because systems really do work. And everybody at my church, they talk about me because they're like, oh, she's always talking about systems. Get a system for this, a system for that, right? Because that's just what I do. I live off of systems. But here's the beauty about having systems for your life, having systems for uh, your business or your ministry or whatever it is. Like system is really just having a plan and a strategy in place as to how you're going to win. How are you going to be successful? I gave them this quote, y'all, and y'all got to really listen to this quote because it's serious, right? I said, losers set goals, but winners set goals and execute them. Oh my gosh, see, that'll, that'll preach right there. Let's talk about this. You know, the Bible tells us to write a vision and make it plain, right? So that's a good thing to write a vision. But the Bible also tells us that faith without works is dead. So to write a vision is simply you having faith for something, right? You got the faith for it. Oh, yeah. Yes, girl. I'm so proud of you. Okay. But listen, it doesn't end there. So you can have a faith for you can have the faith for something, but if you don't put in the work, if you don't create a system, a pattern, or a habit as to how it's going to work for your good, then you're going to look at, okay, let's say, for example, like 2021, you had faith to lose weight. I'm just throwing something out there. You had faith to lose weight, right? And you wrote it down, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, I'm going to lose 20 pounds, I'm going to lose whatever. That's That's faith. That's faith. But if you don't consistently put in the work, that means develop a system as to how you can win, you're going to find yourself losing due to inconsistency, due to not having a system or a plan for execution in place. Listen, systems work if you work it. Losers will set goals, but winners will set goals and have a system in place as to how they're going to execute it, right? And so... I have been talking about the let go. I have been saying, yeah, there are things you got to let go and this and that. I could tell you all day long and you can believe it by faith. You could write it down this year in 2022. I'm letting go of, I'm focusing on this. I'm going to do that, right? But if you don't have a plan of execution as to how you're going to actually do that, you're going to find yourself losing in yet another year. And I don't know about you, but I want to win, win, win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> I, I just, you know, kind of came up. But anyway, <laughs> listen, this is our winning year. God has promised us double 
in this year, but you're not going to receive double if you're not executing, if you're not letting go of that which you said you were going to let go of. You have to create a system and a plan for your life so that you can win, win, win no matter what. Okay, come on, y'all. Listen, so why am I so big on one? I was talking about let go, but why am I so big on having a system in place for the let go? I'm glad you asked. Well, we got to look at the ultimate creator. We got to look at God. We got to look at God, what he did and how he did it, right? And so here's the thing. God is the creator of systems. Oh my goodness, this thing is so deep, right? God is the creator of systems. How is he the creator of systems? When he created you and me, he blew breath in our bodies for us to function and go about. First, he had a vision. He said, let us create man. That was faith right there for the vision. But God didn't lose God didn't lose the vision because he executed the plan. Come on, somebody. So you can have the faith for the vision. You can see it. You can write it down. But you can lose the vision if you don't execute the plan. God executed the plan and he executed the plan in excellence, right? So when he created us, watch this. He created us with 12 systems in our body. As a prophetic teacher, you got to understand what the number 12 means. 12 is a perfect number. It's governmental order. It's, it's order, it's structure, it's foundation, all of that, right? So there is, there is. Uh, I'm not surprised that God used a system of 12 to create a man in his image. So if you think about it, the 12 systems, what what are what are what are the 12 systems? We got a skeletal system, nervous system, muscular system, respiratory, endocrine, immune, cardiovascular, circulatory, urinary, integumentary, a reproductive and a digestive system. Those are the 12 systems that God put in order in our body to function here on earth. But listen, I'm going somewhere. So follow me. So we've been talking about the let go. Today I'm talking about having systems. I have been telling you to let go, but I'm, today I'm telling you to create a system in place so that you can let go and you can win. Now, I'm not going to break down all 12 systems. I may do this series maybe uh, a few segments, right? But today I really, really want to talk about uh, the nervous system. I really want to tap into that. God is so prophetic in how he created us. We're composed of 12 systems, which represent the kingdom um, and 12 12 is foundational, 12 is governmental, 12 is order, 12 is a perfect number. So that is why God used 12 systems to create his perfect man, who we, who we call good in his own sight. All right. So let's talk about the nervous system. Now we know this is still about the let go, but I'm now I'm trying to show you how to have a system in place for the let go to manifest. I want you to focus on your nervous system. All right. OK, so I'm going to be comparing kingdom to uh, to our natural being. Our natural being has a nervous system. Well, what is the nervous system? The nervous system is a network of nerve cells and fibers that transmit impulses to our body. And it is made up of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. I want to stop right there. Your nervous system is critical in the let go because your nervous system represents the soul system. Come on, somebody. This is your soul. And this is why it's important that if you're going to let go, you got to make sure that your soul system, aka nervous system in the natural, is functioning the way that it should be. Why? Because your nervous system houses your brain. Your brain houses your thoughts. Your, your 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 mind, your will, your intellect, all of that, right? So then ask yourself, what is the soul? The soul is your mind, your will, your intellect, your emotions. So the nervous system is all about controlling your soul. Your soul has to, you know, be everything begins with a thought. So in order for your soul to 
function the way God ordained it to, your thinking can't be stinking. Come on, somebody. You got to guard your mind, guard your thoughts. Listen, have you ever heard somebody say, they just getting on my nerves, right? They get on my nerves. Oh my goodness, he getting on my nerves or she getting on my nerves. What does that mean? That means that something is affecting your nervous system. In the kingdom, your nervous system is your mind. I mean, it's your, yeah, it's your mind, but it's your soul because your soul contains your mind, your will, your intellect, and your emotions. So if you're not letting go, come on, y'all, there's that word again. If you're not letting go of carnal thinking, if you're not letting go of negative thoughts and emotions, whether it pertain to people, situations, or circumstances, then you are allowing a situation to get to your nerves, to get to your soul. And so when you see that negative things are entering into your thought processes, you got to have this mindset, garbage in, garbage out. Because the more you, oh, you got to understand this. In the natural, um, this is our nervous system. In the kingdom, it is our soul system. We were not, God did not create us to hold negativity. Come on, y'all. Listen, that's why the let go is extremely important in this new year. The let go is critical in this new year. Listen, if you begin to hold on to negativity, if your brain transmits to your body, uh, 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 to your very being, nothing but negative stuff, then your soul is in disarray and your physical state becomes in, guess what, disarray. Because if we hold on to negativity, then what we do is we open the door for oppression, depression, and regression to things that God never intended for us to hold on to. So we got to understand that if we really are going to grow somewhere in 2022, if we really are going to let go, then the one, the first thing that we have to do is we have to control our thoughts. We got to control our nervous system. This system was created for healthy functioning of the brain, of the thoughts, of your mentality, of your soul. The Bible says that so is a man thinking, then so is he. The nervous system is critical because this is where you are able to control your thoughts and not allow people, come on somebody, to actually get on your nerves, okay? Instead of allowing situations, circumstances, and people to get on your nerves, you uh, when that garbage comes in, you learn how to detox. What do you do? You have a system for detoxification. What's your system for detoxification? When garbage comes in your mind, how do you detox it out? Or do you let it sit and now you are depressed? Now you are heavy. Now you're in a bad mood because you let one bad moment spoil your day. It's your nervous system. It's your thought processes. It's how you're training your mind to think. Listen, if you uh, 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 don't control it, then, then you got to understand that you're allowing negativity to be a part of your 2022. Now, we can't stop situation circumstances or even negative people from doing what they do, but we can control how we respond. We can control how we react. We can control how we adjust to the negativity. See, your brain, your nervous system, your solar system, aka, is it houses your mind. Your mind houses your thoughts. Your thoughts are going to transmit to your heart. And from your heart, the Bible says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's why it's important. You got to understand that you are kingdom. If you are a child of God, you are a walking kingdom on earth. Your body is a walking kingdom on earth. Your body is composed of 12 kingdoms, 12 systems on earth. Your body can't op operate outside of kingdom. Listen to what I'm saying. Your body in the kingdom, there, there's no uh, all of this depression and oppression. There's none of that 
in the kingdom. So therefore here on earth, we're manifesting kingdom on earth with these 12 systems in our body. Our body was never created to hold on to negativity. Our body, God didn't create us that way. That's why so many people uh, uh, have to have therapists and they have to go to uh, 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 to to get pills and, uh, and Xanax and, and so many different things to help them because our bodies weren't created to hold negativity. Now, it is definitely good to have a therapist, somebody that you could talk to when you feel like so much negativity is going on. That could be part of your system as to how you detox it out, right? But but God never created us to house negativity. So when it does come, we have to identify that one is negative. We got to identify and we are realize Two, how did I respond to it or how am I going to respond to it? And three, what system and I am I putting in place so that this does not affect my natural body because my natural body cannot house this type of stuff because God created me based on kingdom. And based on kingdom, depression ain't in, the he ain't, ain't in heaven. Come on, somebody. Listen, oppression, that ain't in heaven. And we cannot... We can we we cannot anytime we operate outside of kingdom, it affects our natural body, uh, the soul realm, right? And it gets our spirit out of check because we allow our soul to take over spirit. You always want to operate out of the spirit realm when, when you're operating in kingdom, your soul realm always needs to be under submission or subjection to the to uh uh your soul realm needs to always be under subjection to the spirit realm all right because you don't want your your soul to uh take over spirit all right that's letting your emotions take over the spiritual side so you got to ask yourself in the systematic kingdom in the way that you're choosing to let go are you controlling your nervous system are you controlling your service your your soulish system what is your mind transmitting to your heart? Because the longer you let something sit in your mind, the mind, the brain houses your mind, your thoughts, your will, your emotions, the longer it sits there, it's going to transmit something to your heart. And from the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. And from your mouth, your life will speak because from the abundance of the heart comes words and words produce, a, produce habits. Habits produce a lifestyle. So what is your mind transmitting to your heart? What are your thoughts? What are your emotions? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You got to acknowledge negativity in your life. You got to acknowledge when you're having negative moments. You got to acknowledge when you're uh, responding with negative actions or negative words, negative deeds, right? Romans 12 and 2 says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This scripture right here is telling us to check your nervous system, <laughs> check your soulish system. If something is getting on your nerves or if somebody is getting on your nerves, how are you responding? What are you doing in response to the system? All right. So, so you got to make sure that you're doing what's necessary to keep your soul in check or your nervous system. That's the kingdom, right? So Romans 8 and 6 says, for the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. So God is saying, check yourself or you wreck yourself. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. If you have the mind of Christ, shout out the mind of Christ International Church. That's what we represent. Like if you have the mind of Christ, then you have the peace of Christ. It says for the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit of God is life and is peace. So you got to change your mind. As to di the direction that you're allowing it to go. The let go is real. You got to learn to let go of negative thoughts because they're messing with your nervous system. When your nervous system is off or, or your soulish system, because I'm giving you spirit and natural, right? So in the natural, it's your nervous system. 
in the kingdom is your solar system. They all have to do with the mind, the will, the interleg, how your brain transmits things throughout your body and how you choose to operate from that transmittal. So when your nervous system is off, disorders manifest in the body and the natural. When the kingdom nervous system is off or your soul system is off, it manifests in wrong decisions, wrong actions, and it creates disorders in your life. It creates dysfunction in your life. It creates chaos in your life. So I'm gonna say that again. When your nervous system is off, disorders manifest in your body. What are disorders? Disorders like epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, ALS, Alzheimer's, you know, all of those things, uh, uh, depression, anxiety, all of those, when your nervous system is off, disorders manifest in your body, in the natural. But when your kingdom nervous system, which is your soul system, when that's off, it manifests in wrong decisions, wrong actions, and it creates disorder. It creates chaos. It creates frustration because guess what? Something is off in your soul system, aka your nervous system. So the let go is real, y'all. You have to let go. Garbage in, garbage out. Don't let things linger that be not of God. The let go for 2020, we are not playing. This thing is real. The enemy ain't playing with us. So guess what? We're not playing with him this year and none of his demonic forces. We are being strategic on how we're going to win in the things of God. We are being strategic on how we're going to win in the things of God. I'm going to say that again. We are being strategic in how we're going to win in the things of God in this 2021 new year. Will you let go of the negative thoughts, the negative energy, the negative people, the negative circumstances and situation that want to produce a harvest in your mind, that is all you're thinking about, all the lack, all the this, all the that. The let go is real. And if we're going to be the walking kingdom on earth, there's some action that has to go with our faith. All right. So faith, again, is writing the vision. And that that alone will not allow you to win. Losers only write the vision, but winners will write the vision and they will put in place a systematic plan to execute the vision. Are you winning this year or are you losing? The let go is real. All right, y'all. I pray that that blessed you. I don't know. I'm going to do another system next week. I don't know how many systems I'm going to do, but it's still pertaining to the let go. It's still pertaining to getting your soul right, getting your spirit right, and, and winning on purpose this year. That's going to be the resounding noise that you hear from me because God has already prophesied double in this year. We're going to get double increased favor, prosperity, needs being met, blessings on blessings on blessings. Listen, double is coming, but it's only for the winners who have a plan of execution. So don't look for double and not execute anything on your end, whether it comes to your mind, your will, your intellect, your actions, your deeds, your words. You got to get yourself together, honey. And your girl, Trisha, is here to help you do just that. Are we going to barbecue or mildew in 2022? I hope it's barbecue, y'all, because I ain't got time to be sitting <laughs> for nobody. <laughs> for nobody, okay? We got work to do. So let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Tag your girl. Uh, share this with somebody. Start a watch party. Let them know that this episode is going to bless their whole life, okay? Y'all say whole life. Whole life. All right. So make sure to share it. If you're not subscribed to Apple Podcasts, subscribe, baby. It's on and popping. You get the latest and the greatest all the time. You can go back and catch the replays, all of that. I'm on Spotify as well. But at the end of the day, I just want everyone to hear this word so that they could be blessed and blessed indeed. I'll see you on next week. Okay. It's your girl, Trisha. I'm checking out of the interview with me. <laughs> Trisha. I'll see y'all. Talk to y'all on next week. God bless.